Hi dear friends, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I am fine too, I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. If you know that you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your love, thank you for your support. I really appreciate much, 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 much. But if it is your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that subscription bell. You will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And I can assure you that you always enjoy every content that I upload on this channel. So dear friends, in our today's video, we are going to be talking about this famous, famous dating app <laughs> that everyone is scared to give a try or some of you have given it a try and decided to delete it completely. <laughs> Due to the horror stories that we have been hearing, you know, very, very bad stories, like some of you who watched Tinder Swindler, yes, we're going to be talking about Tinder, <laughs> Tinder Swindler on Netflix, and not only that, lots, lots of horrible, horrible stories from Tinder. <laughs> so this has made you to be like, no, I cannot try out Tinder, I am so scared. But some who have tried are like, mm, due to what I am hearing, no. Or due to my experience that I have got using Tinder, no, 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 no. Let me just delete it. Whereby, some of you guys, Tinder is among of the few dating apps that works in your countries. But still, you're like, no, I'm not going to try Tinder. So today, I am here to talk to you to change your mind concerning Tinder. <laughs> so there is a success love story that I shared on African Bella story times last year of a Tanzanian lady who found love with an American guy on Tinder. <laughs> and I decided to talk to her so that she can come here and talk to you guys, give you tips and tricks on how to use Tinder. Because yes, some are scared, but some have been like, Bella, I don't know how to use Tinder. So guys, this Tanzania sister of mine is going to be helping you out. And she has got a YouTube channel, so I am going to address her as Miss Carly's, <laughs> and that's her YouTube channel name. After watching this video, please, please go and support her on her YouTube channel. She has got a very beautiful content that you all are going to learn from. So dear friends, before I bring to you Miss Carly's, I'd like to show you some of the success stories from Tinder. Success stories that I have shared here on my channel. Why am I doing this? To show you that, guys, Tinder works. Despite all the negative parts of Tinder, but it works. Exist couples that have found love on Tinder and they are happily married now. Success stories, guys. <laughs> They're living there happily ever after. So if it worked for them, why not you, my sister? Why not you? Please give it a try. But I know some of you will be like, Bella, you know, with Tinder, it has got lots of scammers. I'm so tired of these scammers. <laughs> I understand, guys. But if you have been following me here on my channel, I've brought you countless videos on how to deal with scammers, how to notice a scammer while you are on online dating sites or apps. You have the guide. So I don't think you guys will fall into the hands of the scammer. So why are you scared to try out Tinder? Because you know, if you come across a scammer, because you have the tips, you know how they talk, when they bring out, you know, their sweet talks to sweet talk you so that you can fall into their traps, you know already. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, I know you. Block and move forward. Some of you, we are working together. So for example, you decide to give Tinder a try and maybe a guy comes, is chatting with you, but you are not sure. You're like, mm, is this guy a scammer? You are free to screenshot that message, 
send it to me be like bella what do you think of this guy i've been chatting with him on tinder so that way you are protected guys nothing is gonna happen to you we are doing all this to help you find love because most of you i know you have tried almost every dating site or app almost <laughs> almost all because i told you exist lots of apps that you can't know all of them <laughs> but almost and still you are not succeeding where you are doing it wrong is when you get scared to give a try a dating app or a dating site because people are saying it's bad it has got lots of scammers <laughs> <laughs> you are doing it wrong so give it a try i'm still saying give it a try but go with your eyes wide open if you see something off don't waste your time block that guy and move forward others will be like tinder has got lots of players <laughs> guys i told you one time that there is no dating app or dating site that doesn't have players we don't have that dating site or app so it's up to you to differentiate a guy who is serious and a guy who is a player and i've tried my best guys to give you the tips to guide you so that you can be able to differentiate a player and a guy who is serious so that is not a challenge for you that's not a problem for you anymore it's not a problem you know when you go to the apps you come across a guy who is a player you know him and what you do you give a block i say you put x on that guy and you move forward so no excuses guys give tinder a try and i know another thing that might be stopping you from trying tinder out it's because you are seeing local guys especially you guys who are in africa and you're not interested to see local guys you want to see guys globally you know from other countries but still i tell you that's not a challenge just create a very beautiful attractive profile we have talked about this you have a guide for that so <laughs> work on it and when your profile is okay you have cute photos you know <laughs> your description is making a guy get curious to get to know you remain there because i know if you're not paying a guy who is paying from other country and maybe he said to see ladies globally is gonna find your profile when he finds your profile what he does he's gonna swipe right and when you see he has swiped right of course swipe right too so that you can begin to communicate because i know african ladies they were able to find love on tinder these ladies were in africa to give you an example these are success stories <laughs> that i have shared here some i've not shared yet you find a lady is in ghana kenya tanzania uganda namibia actually there is a story i promised you of a namibian lady she found love with a german guy and that lady found love on tinder while in namibia okay and was not paying these ladies were not paying on tinder at all except trisha the last story of a ugandan lady that i shared with you so they did not just be like i tried tinder they're only bringing me local guys i'm not going to try tinder anymore no <laughs> guys when you are on online dating apps or sites you have to try everything till you find what you are looking for so guys i've talked of ladies who are in africa but if you are in the diaspora for example you are in italy you are in the uk you are in america you are in canada australia why can't you give tinder a try create a very good attractive profile and give it a try because i've had lots 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 of success stories from tinder of ladies living in the diaspora actually it has been really working out so 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 good even than afro introductions because afro introductions i find it that it works more with ladies 
who are in Africa, you know, <laughs> or maybe you are in the Caribbean, they are like far away. But if you are abroad and you really want to find love, a guy who lives in the same country as you live, give Tinder a try. And you, my dear African sisters, in UAE, you can give Tinder a try. I know some of you be like, Bella, I'm seeing only Arabic guys. I'm not interested in these Arabic guys. <laughs> I understand you. Just give it a try. Keep your profile there because I am very sure you would come across white guys that are in UAE, maybe for work. But attention, <laughs> if you come across a white guy who is in UAE for work, just like you, you have to make sure you know his life in his country, okay? And confirm everything that he tells you. But I have seen black African women in UAE finding love on Tinder with white guys who are there for work. So on your case, even if you see a local guy, maybe the guy is just in the country for work. If you decide to go into a relationship with him, go with your eyes wide open. But what we are intending here to do is to try out everything until we succeed, until we find that right guy so that we can settle down, have our own families. Hello guys, my name is Miss Callies, or you can call me Martha. Um, for those who remember, there was a video of me and my husband that Bella shared. We were talking about interracial dating, how we met, culture differences, and a lot of things in one package. So I am here today talking about the most demanded topic ever. We thought it would be great for you guys to um to see the video to watch the video and um hopefully it's gonna be hopefully for your journey on um online dating search especially on the tinder to be specific so i'm just gonna give like um a guidelines of what i did or to my understanding and um every person um has the right to bring out his or concerns but um these are my thought what i think worked for me might not work for you but just pick whatever that you think will be great for you so let's dive into this so um before everything or anything for you to be able um to um be in the tinder app you have to sign up and when i say signing up it means um you should push your phone number or your email and then that's when you'll be able to open the tinder account so when you open first you have to put your pictures you have to put about yourself like i'm generally talking about like who are you what do you do what are you looking forward or what are you looking for in that application what are your expectations but also you have to put your age you have to put like um where are you exactly if you want to disclose that or you have to you have to put also like um the mouse that you want to meet people when i say the mouse i mean like um you have to either choose you want to meet people who are so close to you let's say like i'm um, five miles um 10 miles or you can put over it means you're going global whereby let's say um 30 miles wherever and so on depending with what you're picking when you choose the long distance it means um they'll be able to filter out and bring for you people that are outside of your continent yes but if you want to meet people who are so close to you you can just put um short distance and generally i'm saying miles because in america we use miles but in africa we use kilometers so you can choose kilometers that are good for you um so for the miles this is the most important thing because um for example you're looking for someone who is so close to you and when you put the short distance it means you can meet with that person anytime you want there won't be the hassle of you traveling here and there but if you choose 
the long distance like let's say a lot of kilometers it means that you're looking forward to travel either going to another city or going to another country so it means you have to be prepared for um whatever that will happen in the future like for long distance relationship or like going to meet your partner where, while we can so in another thing is um there is an option of hobbies when you check the part of settings this is all what it has like um about yourself you put your pictures you put kilometers um you have to put um your hobbies like what you like to do like what you dislike and just something that to give whoever will be swiping you like to have a basic or real picture about the person that they're gonna swipe um right on to yes and um so after doing that you can be in a very basic um subscription like you don't have to pay but also if you feel like you want to pay you can click the tinder plus and then i'm um, you update your file whereby um you're gonna get like um some benefits like to see someone who swiped right for you like soon as possible and um like um to be able to communicate so mind you when you're using tinder generally when you swipe that's when people see you Okay, when I say this, I mean Tinder is reading your behaviors the more you swipe left and right. They come to know, like, what are you looking for too? Like, which kind of an ethnicity or which kind of people, distance and everything. So, at the end of the day, the more you have time to filter, like, I'm swiping left and right, left and right, it's when um, it's giving you high chance to appear in other part of the world. For example, it happened, you swiped on this person and then he swiped on you too. It means you guys gonna match after matching. That's when you started starting to communicate. You won't be able to chat with any person if you don't match. First, you have to match. And for you to be able to match, you have to swipe left if you don't like, right if you like. So if you swipe right and that person swipe right also, you'll be able to meet that person. Yeah. And good thing is this way. Nowadays, Tinder has feature of video call. So you'll be able to video call with someone on the um, application even before meeting them physically so that's a good chance like a quality security future so um another thing is this way tinder has um another feature that it's very beautiful and this is very fine so very fine it means like um someone scans their real face and then they get um a blue tick it means this is authentic self this is the real person whereby when you're chatting with the person with a blue tick it means that this that's the real person yeah but unless otherwise when you start communicating with that person and then they behave weird it means that person that's the way he is um, another good thing of tinder is this way they don't force you to communicate with any person you can unmatch anytime you want anytime you want you can unmatch so um when i say uh, when i say like um you have to write about yourself a little bit because this helps to give the person the real picture because eventually i cannot swipe to someone that I don't have like even a little bit basic and even if like someone didn't write much like my husband said I didn't write much and um and I had like I didn't have like a lot of pictures but there's something that he saw in me like few things that I wrote that's what caught his eyes for those who didn't see the video you have to go back or you can tell Bella to highlight it for you to be able to watch it yeah so like write something basic for someone to know what are they going to sign up to and same to the guy and Follow the things that you want. Like, what are you looking into someone? Like, do you want them to have a lot of pictures? Like, for you to be able to keep on, um, check on them and see, like, oh, this is the real person. Like, um, he wrote, like, a very good bio. It's attracts you. Either anything that you, you want from a man or, or like, a, from a woman. Just something basic. Because eventually, you won't be able to know someone until you start communicate with them. Yeah, so, um... To those all looking for long distance relationship, you can put your kilometers until the end and then you go global. And for those who want short distance relationship, you have to put short kilometers for you to be able to meet a person with a short commute. Um, another thing is this way. If you want to get a good result from Tinder, you have to be patient, like very patient. Tinder is not for people who can give up easily. And if you feel like you're burnt out, you need to take a break, take a break as much as you can, because this is not like you're in a war going to fight. No, this is something that you should enjoy, something that you should do in your ample time. Like just the way you enter in Facebook, 
or Instagram. You are like, I'm checking the post, just enjoying the moment. That's how you should also use Tinder. Like use it in your ample time. Don't be stressed and like, don't, don't just go like, um, um, I'm going to look for a woman. Like just relax because eventually you never know who you're going to meet. Sometimes when like, let's say your mind is not like, a bit of settled you can meet someone who is a scammer and it might discourage you it might just give you setbacks and you'll be like um they are no good people they are no real people while you just met a scammer so you just have to cool down do your part and let god do the rest but also i'm in tinder you have to be specific which age are you looking forward for your partner to have when I say this, it means you have to choose exactly. If you want someone who is from 25 years to 35, just put your specific age. By saying so, it will be easy for Tinder to filter exactly what you want. But also sometimes the distance you put and the more you swipe, sometimes they can tell you like um, there are no people in this place. What you have to do, just go back to age, twist the age, 26 to 36 and then they'll give you again um new people that will appear in your um account and if it's kilometers try to shift or to twist the kilometer to shorter to longer and then they can keep on bringing to you a lot of people so the boys you know people just twist the, the edge twist the distance and um also um you have also to check your bio like what what's the mistake what did you do what you didn't highlight but also like uh, don't write like a lot of things in one place just take out like those basic things that um will make you look outstanding and um some people be like should i put my naked pictures no girl don't put your naked pictures not only girls even to guys just put your pretty decent pictures and cool like you went out to have some fun like any picture that you think like when yourself sitting down and look at yourself will be like oh wow i look so pretty oh my god i look so handsome like this picture is so nice so those are the kind of things that you have to put there and um another thing is like when you start to communicate with someone like just be cool get to know someone a little bit basic like don't rush okay just relax and on tinder it's not about um looking let's say um some people might say like their hookups and so on no there are also still good people around there you meeting bad people it doesn't mean every person is bad my sister my brother there's still good person around there for you so never give up be patient it doesn't matter how long it takes. For example, that some people can enter there a few weeks, few months, they meet their partner. Other people can be like one year, but just enjoy the journey of viewers. Every person's journey is different. You get it? Don't just do anything and then you end up being in a bad relationship. Don't be desperate, just be cool. Pray, pray, and pray. You get it? And sometimes you can be making friends also. So don't just go the perception like I'm looking, let's say, for my husband. No, just be cool, build friendship, and other things will just come like flowing. You get it? So here's the thing, guys. Um, as I said, um, Tinder is um reading your um swiping behavior so they want to give you something that um you really want to so for example as i said it's nothing i mean like in terms of um if you're looking for your fellow african if you're looking for someone who is like i'm from um europe or from other um any western um country it means that you have to focus on that so that you don't mix um the way tinder is trying to figure out exactly what to offer you like exactly what you expect so if you're looking for um westerners let's say um you have to keep on swiping to those kind of people keep on swiping on them i mean swipe right 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 if you see someone from africa and you don't want to like that um ethnic from africa just swipe left because this will help you get more um, options according to exactly you and need. So don't confuse um, the way the system is working. F exactly follow what you want to and stop like wasting your time. Stop wasting your time. Like stop wasting your time. And you feel like uh, when you feel like um, it's just too much, you're tired. Take a break, as I said. 
take a break focus on yourself on your self-love your financial freedom focus on your own business on your studies whatever that you do your work and everything pamper yourself as much as you can eventually when that person comes in your life they find that you're physically mentally stable like a very happy person they'll just proceed with um the things that they find in you so eventually like um don't expect let's say like your partner to give you happiness your happiness should begins with you of course your partner will give you but it's good for yourself to have your self-love to have your happy happiness to have your joy and same as your partner will find you with a good energy and then together we'll be proceeding and when you communicate with the person and you feel like they don't talk or align with what that you're looking for, for example, there are some people have their own fantasies just as much as much as you can. Don't, don't waste your time. I repeat, the more time you waste, the longer you stay in the application, the longer you find yourself ending up communicating with a lot of people. You are wasting your time. And mind you, don't just share your number with every person share when you feel like you have good instincts and share when you feel this person sounds like a little bit convincing because if you don't relax as i said relax if you don't relax you just find yourself being desperate and just share contact with any person and mind you you're not there to fill your contact list no my dear friend you are there to have genuine connection with few genuine people exactly so um don't give up just keep on enjoying the moment flex as much as you can and that's all and you will meet your partner it's great that and um, we keep on seeing a lot of successful stories from bella like to all those that they have kids already yes when someone loves you they truly loves you all of you and everything that is in you if you have kid you have your chance if you don't have you have your chance if you're not slim you have your chance like every person because love comes from the bottom of the heart absolutely so your physical look does not determine if you get or not eventually every person has his or own person somewhere so believe in yourself trust in yourself smile and be happy always so bella's baby don't miss the chance don't miss the opportunity use your phone your smartphone well use your data internet well my dear and on the internet make sure you follow accounts that you think um they will uh, they will um attract you or they align to things that you're looking forward to and you feel like feel like you need to ask any information ask because we are all in learning process no one no one was born knowing everything we are all learning we are all learning and unlearning and proceed with what suits us the best and so if you love traveling don't forget to do that yeah if you love doing golfing don't forget like just put all those interesting things like don't be a boring person put things that you know these are the things i enjoy doing and i do don't feel bad if you love studying reading books do that just right eventually you meet people that um they have similar interest with you so thank you guys and this is all what i had to share in case if i forgot to all those that have different like things you think might help others to get a guide on how to use um tinder please just leave your comment down there i believe bella will be pinning them out so thank you see you all next time and you're all welcome to my channel my name is miss Callis. I'm talking all about life in USA, week tutorials, and everything that is all about positive because it costs zero dollar to be kind. And so we are just being happy and enjoying the gift of life. Ciao, ciao, bye. So guys, this is a general tip for you all that are using online dating sites or dating apps. If you really, really want to succeed, you want to find love on online dating sites or apps, you have to stop concentrating on negativity. I have seen you guys. We take an example. You are on online dating sites, searching, and then you receive a very good message from a guy without doing everything that I advised you to do. Like go check his profile, what he has written there, see his photos, see the background of the photos and everything. See if you guys are a match or not. No, you don't do that. You concentrate on that message, you get excited, you start responding to him. A guy starts sweet talking you and cause you are lonely. I'm not judging you guys, attention, I've been there. Yes, there is a time I was lonely too. I didn't have anyone. But this shouldn't make you get attached so easily to a guy that you haven't found out if he is serious or not. His real intentions 
towards you and that does not take just a day okay so stop attaching yourself i've seen you just in a day two days you get attached oh my god bella i think this guy is the one i feel like he is different but dear sister have you put this guy on a test have you asked him important questions you know <laughs> Because some of these guys who will come with sweet talking, when you come with serious questions, they won't even respond to you. That is when they will lose interest and start ghosting you. So stop these attachments. Because guys, you attach yourself, you become very excited and be like, yes, finally. <laughs> this is what I was searching for. Then when he goes to you, oh my God, you get hurt. You start crying. You start saying you're not lucky. Village people are after you. <laughs> but can you please try to imagine this guy on the other side after, you know, ghosting you. What is he doing? He is keeping on playing games with other ladies. Whether you're here at a point of giving up, actually this guy is making you giving up on your dream of finding a right guy. Don't allow that, please, please. That's why I told you, never ever attach yourself emotionally to a guy that you're not sure of his real intentions. I really don't know how I should emphasize on this so that it gets here into your mind. Cause once you master that, trust me, you will have a peace of mind while using these dating sites. It's not easy guys. I know the struggle is real. I know, but the struggle is real and still you're making it difficult for you by attaching yourself to losers. <laughs> A guy is chatting with you day one, day two. You are just getting to know each other. He is not your boyfriend yet. Don't start dreaming. Don't start to fantasize, you know. <laughs> like these online fantasizers when they tell you, I'm going to get married to you. We're going to have cute kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't be like them okay be like i am still getting to know this guy god help me i wish this guy turns out to be the one but that excitement oh my god bella he is the one <laughs> Stop it. I know some of you right now, you're laughing a lot, especially my babies. <laughs> because I've been going through this a lot. <laughs> so guys, my last tip of today, if you really want to find love, on online dating sites, dating apps, let it be Tinder, let it be F dating, let it be okay Cupid, let it be sea fish, let it be plenty of fish. I've seen this a lot happening and I'm here to talk about it so that you can avoid it. Cause once you do this mistake, it is very difficult to go back. Yeah, that is how bad it is. And I've noticed this a lot within my clients that I work with personally, I guide them. So you find a lady is telling you, you know, how everything started. And when you keep on listening, you come to find out that this lady made a mistake. And I know right now you're like, what is that Bella? <laughs> Guys avoid arguments that will tie you up with a guy that is not the one. But I've also noticed this when ladies comes with their stories, online dating stories that went bad. But some of them came to me and they were like, wow, Bella, this is a success story. <laughs> but you know, sometimes when I listen to these success stories, I have something to say. You know, if there is an advice to give a sister, why not? <laughs> I'm straightforward. I tell her, look girl, as much as you see, this is a success story, but I've got an advice for you here. <laughs> I remember one time, this is so funny. A lady was telling her story, all was good. And when we came at some point, I was like, no, for me, this is unacceptable. Why did you accept this? Why did you do it? <laughs> And then she started saying, Bella, so what can I do now? What do you advise me? So I started guiding her right away on what to do. 
but unfortunately some of the things it was too late for her to go back and be like no i can't do this anymore so that is why guys your sister is here you know i love you so much to help you don't go into an argument that will tie you with a guy that is not the one so dear friends number one argument that will tie you up with a guy that is not the one for example you are online dating app or dating site searching then a guy comes he writes you a very cute message you go to his photos he's a cute guy you know <laughs> you get attracted to him and this guy shows like he is really into you. He wants to get to know you. So after chatting for a few days <laughs> or weeks, then this guy tells you, you know what? I am planning to come to Africa to meet you. You forget the tip that I gave you on this and you accept. Okay, no problem. <laughs> so this guy tells you after four months, I will be coming, you know, to see you. So you keep chatting, you keep fantasizing of how everything is going to be when you finally meet, how you're going to be sharing the goodies <laughs> and enjoying. Maybe it has been long since you enjoyed the goodies. So every night you go to bed and poor girl, you fantasize about it, <laughs> which is wrong. I told you guys. When you come across a guy online, you start chatting. And when that time comes, you start talking about meeting. When the guy tells you, I want to come after four months to Africa or wherever part of the world you are to visit you, you shouldn't say yes, yes, yes <laughs> on the spot. You can be like, that's great, but I think I can also come and visit you first. And after me coming to visit you, then you can come and visit me. What do you think? When you ask a guy like that, it's not that you are even intending to travel, go see this guy. No, you want to see his reaction to that. So before you agree, because agreeing to that, you are tying yourself to a guy that you don't know if after four months, this guy will really come because some will promise you and they will never come, but keep chatting with you. <laughs> Those guys that wants only an online girlfriend, we talked about that and we have seen lots of examples, evidences of such kind of guys. It, it's not that I just bring out stories and that's why I'm here to guide you so that you can avoid that. It hurts for a lady to waste the whole year chatting with a guy that is telling her i will come to visit you and you will keep agreeing because you agreed from the start you told him okay i'll be waiting for you i'll take you here i'll take you here i'll introduce you to my parents and all that don't do that guys please please so from his response you will know whether to continue or not to continue yeah because if you talk about that or if you ask him that question and then he tells you you know you're from africa it is very difficult you won't get the visa it will be almost impossible that is why i want to be the one to come just know that something is not right somewhere yes because if a guy loves you he should be ready you know to give it a try go through those challenges and if you fail to get the visa then he should be the one to come and visit you first so guys, I've been telling you, I've got enough experience, I've got enough experience, it's true guys, I've got enough experience with these things. So I remember there is a lady I was guiding online and then she came across a guy, they started chatting that same same day without me knowing. This lady entered an argument that tied her with the wrong guy that even made her waste her time because they were chatting all was good and then they talked about meeting so when they talked about meeting this guy told the lady immediately that i want to be the one to visit you first and without this lady knowing it's okay no problem so she came to me and talked to me about it and i was like girl why did you do that you could have simply told the guy it's okay too if you be the one to visit him first and see what will be the response 
so guys the lady went and was like you know what i've thought about it i think i should be the one to come and visit you first Hear the response. <laughs> no, 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 no. I still insist I should be the one to come and visit you first because you are from Africa. It's almost impossible for you to get the visa to here. <laughs> the visa process is so stressful. Mind you guys, this lady that I'm talking about has got a very good job, is financially stable, is at her happy place, has traveled to Europe. So it wasn't her first time to travel to Europe. She has even gone to America, traveled the world and told the guy that no problem, I will get the visa. But the guy still insisted that no, 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 <laughs> you wait for me. So when the lady came to tell me, I told her, you know what? I think something is wrong somewhere. This guy does not convince me at all. So the lady was like, Bella, I cannot force him, you see? And another thing, I had agreed to it from the start, you know, to let the guy come. So let me just wait for him. <laughs> she waited, guys. She waited and waited till today. The guy never went to visit. So she wasted her time. That is why I'm trying to tell you, avoid that. When he brings when to meet, even if you don't want to go, meet him first. <laughs> Pretend, you know, to be wanting to go visit so that we can at least get to see how this guy thinks. And those who agree that, yes, I am going to invite you, try to go through the process and see if even the first process, this guy will put some efforts because some will accept but when you tell them let's start the process they'll start making corners and eventually goes to you but important you brought the question out if you don't bring it out and you be yes 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 that is when you enter into agreements that will tie you with guys that are not the one with wrong guys guys another agreement that will tie you with a wrong guy and it will be almost impossible for you to go back it will be difficult is when you try to impress the guy you're chatting to on online dating sites or apps a lot like everything he asks you you say yes because maybe you think you saying yes to everything that will make that guy be serious and maybe eventually get married to you it does not work like that i always advise you that do things that makes you comfortable to do don't do things that makes you uncomfortable just because you want to impress that guy for example, I've seen this going on a lot. You are on online dating sites searching for the right guy. You come across a guy, you start chatting, everything goes on well, and eventually you decide to start dating exclusively. So most of you, oh my God, you really want to be in a relationship and you can't control yourself from exaggerating. For some of you start even putting schedules of things that you have to do together. <laughs> Whereby, <laughs> when you sit down and think about it, it's you that is pushing the more. It's not that that guy really wanted those schedules. <laughs> you know, I hope you get me. So you putting timetable of doing things together brings this guy to ask you to shower with him, whereby he goes to the bathroom naked and you go to the bathroom naked, you know, to shower. <laughs> Nobody showers with clothes. <laughs> But it is something you start doing together maybe after two weeks of communicating. Whereby in those two weeks, you're not even sure if that guy is the one. Whereby in those two weeks, you haven't even talked of when you guys are going to meet. You haven't seen how much effort this guy is putting in to make sure you guys get to meet. No. <laughs> but you are doing these shower routines with this guy oh my god dear sisters please no let's not do this and i told you some of these white guys they've got weird weird fantasies so maybe seeing a naked lady showering <laughs> online you know excites him <laughs> and that's how he gets 
to satisfy himself, you know, to satisfy his fantasy. So this guy maybe is using you only to satisfy his fantasy. Who knows? Who knows, dear beautiful ladies? I know guys that I give my advice and you are the one to decide on what to do, okay? <laughs> but showering with a guy online will never make that guy serious, okay? You have to dig deep first. See if the guy is serious or not. If you are considering to do a shower routine online with your online boyfriend. Otherwise, you will be tying yourself with a guy looking for only an online girlfriend and at the time you open your eyes, you start telling him, no, I can no longer do shower routines. <laughs> he will end everything whereby you have attached yourself already. We have to cook together. We have to eat together. We have to do a shower routine together. <laughs> It will really frustrate you. It might put you into a depression and you will have wasted lots of your time. But with me, guys, the way I am, because I know myself, I will never ever <laughs> do a shower routine with a guy that I met online. Whereby, I don't know if that guy will be my husband or not. I don't know. But I'm just taking a risk, you know, just to impress this guy <laughs> online to see my naked body. No, I really value myself a lot. I'll never do that. But for you, maybe you are made differently. You know, we are different. But if you are to do it, I have given you a guide on what to do. And lastly, guys, I have discussed about these lots of times here on my channel. You guys that do online sex, thinking maybe it will change the mind of the guy <laughs> and come very, very fast <laughs> to meet you maybe in Africa or wherever part of the world you are. No, guys, it will never change his mind. And you have to keep it in mind that on online dating sites or apps, exist people of all kind exist very very strange people exist guys that are very very bored right now in their marriages they are so unhappy but at the same time they can't get out of those marriages maybe due to finances <laughs> So what they think, they think of doing something new to satisfy themselves and maybe it's even part of their fantasies. So he will keep on doing that with you till he gets tired or till you come up with those burning questions. He will run to the next lady that will accept that. But at that time, you will have wasted lots of your time and dignity so guys let's avoid these arguments that tie us with wrong guys so dear friends before i end this video i would kindly remind you to go and give our sister your support her channel name goes by the name of miss carlis check it out guys you're going to enjoy a lot her content miss carlis thank you so much for this collaboration i really appreciate much i know it will help lots of ladies out there will have lots of success stories from tinder <laughs> from this video of course Please guys, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are super super good. Comment below what you think about this video. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to this channel, join the family and thank you for subscribing. I love you so much guys, you're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.